video we are going to solve a problem on finding the poles and zeros of a transfer function. So this is our question. We have to determine the poles and zeros of the transfer function which is given by 2s plus 6 multiplied with s plus 2 and divided by s, s plus 1 and s plus 4. So let's solve this question. We know that when we want to determine the poles and zeros, then we have to factorize the numerator polynomial and the denominator polynomial. So let's solve this problem. In this, we are given the transfer function. So we know that if we want to find out the poles and zeros, then we have to equate the numerator polynomial and the denominator polynomial and uh, to zero and we have to find out the factors of these polynomials. So let's find out the uh, factors of the numerator and the denominator polynomial. First consider the numerator polynomial. We have 2s plus 6 so let's find out its factors. We can find out the factors by equating it to zero so it will be 2s equals to minus 6, s will be equal to minus 3. So this is one of the factor of the numerator polynomial. Now consider second, we have s plus 2. So equate it to 0, we will get the factor as minus 2. So these are the two factors of the numerator polynomial. So the factors of numerator polynomial are known as the zeros of the transfer function. So s equals to minus 3 and s equals to minus 2. These are the zeros of the transfer function. Now let's find out the factors of the denominator polynomial. First, we will equate this s to 0. So, this is one of the factor. Next, we will equate s plus 1. So, we will get s equals to minus 1. Third, we will equate s plus 4 to 0. So, it is s equals to minus 4. So these are the three factors of the denominator polynomial and the factors of denominator polynomial are the poles of the transfer function. So s equals to 0, s equals to minus 1 and s equals to minus 4. These are the poles of the transfer function. Now if it is asked that you have to represent these poles and zeros on the imaginary axis or in the S plane, then how you are going to represent it? The zeros, they are represented by a circle on the S plane and the poles, they are represented by a cross sign in the S plane. So let's represent the poles of the system in the S plane. This is the S plane. This is our real axis. 
and this is the imaginary axis. So we know that the in the S plane that is S, it is equals to sigma plus j omega, where sigma is the real part and j omega is the imaginary part. So in the question we were having the poles as s equals to 0, s equals to minus 1 and s equals to minus 4 and zeros were s equals to minus 3 and s equals to minus 2. So you have to represent the poles as a cross sign. So let's divide this real axis and imaginary axis. This is 0 point. This is 1, 2, 3. This is the positive part and this is the negative part. So here we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. So poles are s equals to 0 s equals to minus 1 and s equals to minus 4. So first we have to mark this s equals to 0 then s equals to minus 1 and s equals to minus 4. Okay so these are the poles of the system which is given in to us in the question. So this is s equals to 0 s equals to minus 1 and s equals to minus 4. Now we are going to represent the zeros of the system. We have s equals to minus 3 and s equals to minus 2. So these are the two zeros of the system. So in this way, you can represent the poles and zeros of a system on the S plane. In this video, so we have studied, we have solved a problem on finding the poles and zeros of the transfer function. I hope you have understood it clearly. Thank you.